The veterinary department is made up of a small team of women. We are responsible for the veterinary care here um, within the sanctuary. We have a large group of residents and our job is to make sure that we keep them healthy and fit. So this is Magnum and part of what we do here at Chimp Haven, not only within the veterinary department but all of animal care staff, is a, a program called our Positive Reinforcement Training Program. So I'm just going to do a little bit of training with him. This is very beneficial to the vet staff because it allows us to uh, manipulate them, get visual aids um, of their different body parts to assess wounds, treat wounds without them having to be sedated. All right, Target. Good boy. Good boy. Give me your foot. Good job, Max. So in a medical round, we're going through and we're calling up each chimpanzee by name. Yes, each chimpanzee does know their name and they do respond to their name being called. And we're doing a visual ID. So I'm looking them over head to toe. I like to say fingers, toes, fingers, toes. I'm looking to make sure that I don't see any new wounds. Um, I don't see any changes to their behaviors. That may be an indication that something is going on with them clinically. I'm watching them interact to see if there may be some changes as well um, within their behavioral and their interactions as a group that will be reported to our behavioral department. We also attempt to reinforce the other chimpanzees, allowing the chimpanzee of interest uh, to train. And as I was saying, me asking him for these body parts is very beneficial. As you can see, this is the alpha male in this group. If he gets any sort of wound, if he's able to um, present it to me through the mesh, I also can utilize uh, cleaning agents, um, topical antibiotics, uh, that sort of thing to monitor and maintain wounds without having to sedate. Uh, we are what I consider a geriatric facility. Most of our chimpanzees are over the age of 35. So the incident of death increases under anesthesia. So we try to do as much with these guys as we can without having to sedate. He allowed me to do stethoscope training, which is great because not only am I able to visually look at him or uh, manipulate by treating wounds, I was also able to auscultate his heart rate. So this is would be very beneficial in any chimp that we um, know has a cardiac abnormality, just making sure that we can monitor um, the heart. You want to give me arm? I didn't even ask for it. Good job. We also are responsible for their nutritional value and so we have oversight of our feeding program so we make sure that their nutritional component is being met. Is making sure that we manage those body weights. See you guys later. See you later.